G'day, welcome to the Net Network. My name is Dan. Thanks for watching. Today, I want to have a chat to you about uh, the worst things about being an Adobe Creative Cloud customer. Uh, I've been a customer of uh, the cloud for around about two months now, so I'm in a fair position to review it for you. Um, if uh, this is you haven't seen the other video in this series, the best things about being a Creative Cloud customer, click here and uh, it will link you uh, to that video. Number one worst thing about being a Creative Cloud customer is the Behance experience. Is that the way you pronounce it, Behance? Uh, the experience takes place too much outside of Adobe. If they're going to integrate it, it needs to happen more on the cloud side. It's my personal opinion. It's the way I'd like it. I'm not really, I've never really been into using uh, Behance before and I'm not really into going over to their website and setting up a new account and all the rest of it. I, it just should be integrated into the creative uh, cloud if that's what they're trying to do then bring it onto your site my opinion number two the cloud has been offline for most of the time that I've had the account so I've been able to access the, the cloud on uh, a web browser, um, dial up the cloud and upload files that way, but the way it's meant to work is like Google Drive or Dropbox on your local um, system where you have a folder and you have an icon that you can tell it to sync or not sync. And that hasn't been working for most of the time that I've, most of the two months. It worked for a few weeks. Um, and that's just, come on. I mean, it's called Creative Cloud. It's meant to work like that. Um, it's one of the best things about the Creative Cloud is that you can upload a PSD uh, to the cloud and share it with someone who hasn't got Photoshop or any of the Creative Suite products. They can see it and you can make changes to it. And if you save it back to the file, uh, back to the folder, uh, it's going to change, it's going to update live on the cloud so they will see the updates. That's the best thing about it. I mean, that's where the practical application of this uh, Creative Cloud software is and it's not working and it's it's just such a bummer because I love it overall I love being a creative cloud customer but the fact that that bit is broken that's a bummer <laughs> number three uh, is navigating the tutorial library uh, it just doesn't it's not intuitive it doesn't work properly the tutorials are great Hands down, the tutorials are great. I'm a customer of Linda, and I've also been a customer of Treehouse, Team Treehouse, and um, I love tutorials. Um, and Adobe's tutorials are excellent, but you just can't find them. This, this, it doesn't work well. Okay, that's my opinion. Anyway, number four, uh, it's not everything. It's Creative Cloud membership doesn't give you everything that Adobe releases. Like, I'd really like to see the screen capture software. I'm not sure what it's called, but they've got this great screen capture software. It's about 700 bucks in Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, you can record the video um, from, you can record the screen capture and your webcam at the same time. I'd love that. Uh, I've mucked around with a few of the cheap and free ones and they're just not any good. And I'd really like access to that. And it's $700 on top of being a Creative Cloud customer. So I'm probably not going to do that. And that leads me on to my fifth worst thing about being a Creative Cloud customer. I jumped on it, it was around about 25 bucks. They had a special going. If you had been a CS5 customer, you would get Creative Cloud for 25 bucks for the first 12 months. And then it went up to 50. Um, but it's, it's expensive. I mean... Australia didn't. It's expensive. I had to cut my rent out there. Uh, they've, they've, people have been asking the question for a long time: Why in Australia we pay more for digital goods? Um, and really and tr truly, honestly, it's unanswerable. It's just unanswerable. Uh, we pay more because we're suckers, basically. Anyway. Uh, that's been my review of the worst things about being a Creative Cloud customer. If you haven't seen the first video in the series, click here and uh, check out the best things about being a Creative Cloud customer because overall, uh, it's, it's a really good experience. Uh, I enjoy the product. Um, but there's just those niggling things that I'd like to see ironed out and they probably will be. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you real soon.